today we are going to learn about sea otters. They are so cute. And we're lucky we had them here at the Monterey Bay. And I just wanted to show you uh, uh, just a picture of a mama and a newborn. They are so cute. Look at that. There, they're very dear. And they're little, they're very furry. And, they're, and the mom is a good mama, and the mama carries them around on her back or in her mouth sometimes, like a kitten, uh, wherever she has to go. There, so I wanted you to see that, because that's really cute. There, and we are going to be doing a sea otter. Now, before we get going, I wanted to introduce you. Um, let's see, first, okay, here we go. First, I want to introduce you to my daughter when she was little, had a mama sea otter with a baby there. I don't know if you can see that, but it is very cute with the little whiskers. And we used to go to the aquarium all the time and they have sea otters there. There, yeah. So I also want you to see some pictures of the sea otters, okay? So here's a, this one here is the mama and the baby again. And they have these flippers, little hands. Their faces are much lighter than their, um, their bodies. Okay, it's just something to keep in mind. And here's another. Now, they sleep in the kelp. And the kelp is like a giant forest of, of green trees, but there it's like the seaweed. And uh, it's it's really huge. It's very big, and they'll wrap themselves up into it so they sleep and they don't float away. And they especially wrap their babies in their cow because the babies can't really swim very well, but they can float, and they could actually float away. And so here's a little bit more kelp here, and they're a little bit wrapped up in here. So. And the other thing that they do is not only do they wrap themselves up in kelp, they actually hold paws when they all, when a whole bunch of them in a group are going to go to sleep now. They hold paws. It's really pretty cute. You just hold onto somebody's paw. And then wrapping up in kelp, that works too. It's like a blanket that, that, that keeps you from floating away. There. And here's another one here. And they got their cute little paws there. And they're very useful. Um, what they'll do here, let me show you here. Oh, we'll get to a food one here. Here we go. Look, look, look. You can see that they're eating the sea urchins. That's the sea urchins, but look, and we'll also be drawing, they'll also be eating the uh, sea stars there. And what else? Clams, like clams. And you think, oh, that's tough. But they, they know how they can do that. And then I had this abalone. It's just beautiful. And it had some barnacles on it, right? And they'll do an abalone. Uh, and how they do it is that they have on their chest, they'll have a rock and they pound these things on the rock. In fact, they might even keep that rock because underneath their little arms, they can have like a little pocket. They might keep a rock there that they really like that works for them. It's pretty fun to think they might keep their tools. Now, here's a whole bunch of them. They really like to be with each other. And again, if they want to go to sleep, they just hold paws. They just hold pause. And then here's where I got some inspiration for our picture here, a combination of, of some of these. I want it to be wrapped up in the kelp because this is very important, a survival tool. And on top of that, the sea urchins eat the kelp terribly, acres of it. And the sea, the sea otters actually eat the, the, the uh, sea urchins that eat the kelp. Kelp makes oxygen. It's not something that we want to go have go away. Besides, so many creatures live in a kelp forest in the Monterey Bay. So they wrap themselves up in the kelp and all, but also there's a few urchins in there, so maybe they could just pull up the kelp and grab an urchin that's in there eating things. So here, here's the flippers here. And this is the the uh, position that we'll be using here like this. The head, the little hands, and we'll put us we'll put a sea star in there, right? Um, and they're flippers. And then this is the lengthwise one here, and you can see it's wrapped up. So we're gonna do a little of both, having them wrapped up 
and also to be able to be eating uh, one of these uh, sea stars, right? Oh, good. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need an eraser. You're going to need a Sharpie if you have it. If you don't, don't worry about it. And a pencil and watercolors we're going to do today. Okay, just any watercolors. Put a little drop of water on your colors before we get going because it'll uh, loosen it up and make it feel really good. And you know what I want to do? I want you to hear some of their little sounds. Listen to the little sounds. They sound like babies, but they're not. They're so, they're so cute. So I'm going to put this. We're going to have this here. I know. Look how cute they are. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So here we go. So what we're going to do is... <laughs> so, whoa. There, that was pretty cute, huh? Okay, so what I want us to do is not it. Let, let's look ahead. We know, you know how I like to put things in the middle sometimes. Let's do a, a little dot in the middle. I'm using my charcoal. That's so you can see it. Okay, charcoal. So I'm going to say that back here, let's make this sort of the horizon line where the sky meets the land, or in this case, the sea. It like kisses the sea. That would be the horizon line right at that moment, right? And so the next part we're going to do over here would be to create our creature, which is going to pop up over here. So let's just give it kind of a circle here like this. Yeah, kind of a, a, kind of a flat circle. A flat circle, kind of like that. Okay. doesn't have to be in the middle. It definitely doesn't have to be in the middle. Good. And then the other thing we're going to do over here, so we have that flat circle. Let's give it some little paws. Now the paws will start at where the edge of the head is, right? So here's the edge of the head, like here and here, right? The paws will start. And we're just going to bring the paws, the cute little paws, right up to here like that. And another one over here because it's going to hold a sea star, right? Like that. Okay, we'll bring this down like that. There we go, like that. And there'll be water here. So you're not going to see the whole paw, right? Okay, that's good. That's so far. And then over here, let's give it his feet. And look, his feet are sticking out. Wah, wah, the little flipper feet, right? So let's just give it that shape. One shape would be like over here, way past the arms. It's on the outside of the arm, way past the arms. So let's give it one shape here, past the arms, and the other one over here. See, now this way, just by doing that kind of a, a curve here, we'll be able to easily put the little, little flipper toes in here. So the flipper toes is about five. One, two, three, four, like that, right? Okay, here, two. Flipper toes, two, three, four, like roughly like that, right? Okay, and then we have that little hand. And then let's put somewhere in here kind of a triangle, kind of a nose. And they got little round eyeballs. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And then it's kind of straight down here and then has almost like a kitty cat mouth, right? Right, and it does have ears. And so the ears would be right up over here. So in this area here, like this. Let's see if I'm right about their ears. Yeah, it's right by their, see, it's right by their eyes. So let's make sure their ears are by their eyes. Get it right, Linda. There we go. Ears by the eyes. We had that. We had that. There. There. And there we are. And so here it is. Here's what the baby, we're not doing the baby, but we will be doing dinner, right? And here comes the dinner, right? Okay. There. Now, it doesn't have to be this. I mean, I hope they'll be eating a lot of sea urchins, but I didn't have a sea urchin to show you. So remember, it has five points, but it's going to be holding some. So we could just have this over here like this, right? Like that. And that has a little bit of, look, see how rough this is? So let's put a bit of a design on here like that. And the other thing would be the kelp now. Now the kelp, the kelp is really long. It's huge. It's a forest. It's huge. It's huge. So let's just have the kelp drape kind of across this little belly like this, right? And maybe even a big old kelp leaf here. We could have a big, now the kelp is attached with a, a little bit of, it's kind of like a balloon, but it's an area that holds gases to hold it up. But so we're just gonna give it a really long, like the leaves are really long. Let's see if I can show you one of these leaves in here. Mm. 
Now, they have a kind of a texture. That's not a very good picture, is it? It has kind of a texture on the leaves, kind of like a towel. That might be a description. So here's our leaf here. And let's do another one over here. Maybe this could even be a leaf here. Let's make that a leaf here. Okay, there. And let's do two sides to where our kelp is so we can fill it in, right? And note, this one just can kind of curl under its foot. How's that? There, because we don't want too much confusion in our picture. And this has got, I'm just doing little tiny, you know, rough, make it look rough lines, kind of like you might do bark of a tree or something. There, uh, just on that, and that will show that that's the kelp. And again, it does, it looks just like a towel, just like a towel there. There, and mostly the kelp would be a lot more, but we have this here. Here's our water. The water comes at the bottom of the feet, bottom of the feet, the kelp, it can kind of be draping over here a little bit. There we go. And then here we have the face. Let's create this face a little bit more with the neck over here, going straight down, going straight down, right? Right, and we have our hands. And then let's create a little bit of water look over here. Yeah, there, I think we got that, look at that. So here's a little bit more water, look over here to separate the feet. And that's pretty good. And we're gonna erase that part there so it's not confusing. I don't want that part confusing because we're gonna outline now, okay? So um, just for now, I'm gonna erase the horizon line that's going through this sea otter's head. We don't need that. And we're going to be taking our uh, Sharpie, Let's get our Sharpie now, and we're going to be Outlining. Here we go. Alrighty, there. So let's start with the head. Okay. Now, one of the fun facts about a sea otter, and you, you probably maybe even know this, is that per square inch, which would be like this per square inch, one million hairs per square inch. And, uh, you know, and at best we might have, I don't know, a uh, hundred thousand or something. I mean, no comparison. It actually has the most hair of any animal, just the most hair of any animal. And um, people used to hunt them uh, for their fur, um, so they made clothes out of them to keep people warm, but they, uh, they almost were hunted to extinction. So now we're really fortunate at the uh, at Monterey. We have them coming back. A lot of them live in Elkhorn Slough, which is a kind of a slough that's salt water, fresh water, but mostly salt water. And they love being there. It's kind of quiet. Although there's really a lot of boats and people go out and look at them, but they're not intimidated by that. And um, they spend a lot of time taking care of their babies. Their babies actually can't swim, I said that. So that means that everything falls on the mama. And so the mama has to take her baby with her everywhere. And, um, and that means that one way or another, that baby has to be taken care of. And the other thing is they eat an enormous amount of food. If they eat, if, if we eat uh, maybe a few pounds of food, they have to eat like, you know, 20 or 30 times that, maybe 30 pounds of food. I mean, just a huge amount or 20 pounds of food. So, so the difference is amazing uh, between what they have to eat and the quantity we have to eat to maintain their health and well-being, right? There, there's a little water here. Yeah, so the other thing, I love the idea that they kind of hold hands um, while they want to sleep because that's the time that they 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 could float away, especially the babies, especially the babies. So here's this this kelp over here. Kelp is such an important plant in our our or or, or thing in our uh, Monterey Bay. It's just amazing. It's actually an algae, and um, so it's very very important. And the sea urchins especially when the waters start getting a little warm, the sea urchins can just wreak havoc. So we are so lucky that we have our sea otters to come eat those things, right? There. Let's see if I can think of another fun fact. I love the idea that it has a pocket under its arm to hold its stuff, like a rock that it really likes, or maybe an extra sea urchin. You know, just pile them up there under your arm. There. 
Good. Okay. Now, I think we're in a place where we can actually erase. Oh, wait a minute. Did I do all this back here? Let's see. There we go. Yeah. And then that's just a little bit like that. There we go. Good. Good, 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 good. So go ahead. Find your eraser. Let's erase. And then we'll come back and we'll put in our colors. Okay. There we are. Oh, my goodness. Who doesn't love a wonderful sea otter? I hope you get to go to the the uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium and just see the uh, sea otters that are there. Uh, it's a way to see them up front and personal, that kind of personal. And, um, and they're taking care of them there because a lot of them are you know, injured or something has happened, but they take very good care of them so that they can send them back out into the wild. Um, and, they, and there's so many more they're coming back and I'm really happy about that because they're so cute oh my goodness okay now <laughs> good now this is a good stopping point i'm gonna erase a little bit more you could do the same thing get your watercolors ready and i'll be back uh, shortly we'll be right back okay goody we are back and we're going to do more pictures of our sea light our sea otter and I wanted to show you, let's get our picture of the sea otter here. This is so cute. Where are you? There you go. There. There. So this one here, watch what it's doing. It's cracking open some food on, on a rock. Isn't that kind of cool? Yeah. <laughs> and the sounds in the background are the sea lions. I love sea lions. <laughs> there, there, so this is a very active area here. And there, there it is, doing dinner or lunch or breakfast. And remember, they really have to eat a lot. There. Let's see. Oh, there it is. It's got that rock. <laughs> I wonder if that's a way of cleaning its little belly after it does something like that. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know. Just twirling around in the water. There. There. Well, I just thought you'd like to see a sea lion, a sea, a sea otter in action. A sea otter in action. There it is. Let's see if we can see it eating that. There. Oh, good. Okay. I think we did well. Look at us. Look at us. Okay. Yay. Good. So... What we're going to do now is get ourselves ready to put some color in. And one of the things I wanted you to take note of was that their faces are a lot lighter than the rest of their bodies, okay? And one of the things I forgot that I'm going to put in right now, and you can too, hit the whiskers. Oh my gosh, you have to have whiskers, right? You don't have to have a lot. Right by the nose, kind of like that. Good. Whiskers. Goody, goody, goody. Okay. And now let's go back and let's get our sea otter color. Now, the sea otter color that I think we should use for the, for the face is much lighter. So let's just use that, this kind of a very light color. It's a very light color just for the face part, right? And then it goes down a little bit. Yeah. There, good. It's okay to be mixing our colors a little bit too, but let's put down a base coat right now of this this one here. Okay, that's a good one. Oh, good. Okay, and then I might do one that's slightly darker from just coming up over here, just a slightly darker one. There, yeah, because it's it's got a little, little dark. yeah, gives a little little tone here. Good. And now the other part is that the 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 little arms are uh, darker. They're uh, like a darker brown, right? Darker brown. So let's go do a darker brown in here. Hello. Oh, you are the cute little hands. Look at you. Look at you. Now, I purposely picked this out because one, it's eating. That's a cool thing. And it eats a lot, right? Um, two, it gives you some information about the fact that it has that kelp. It's, it's very important part of, of the otters around here, What they, how they how they act. You know, they learn very quickly. Um, there's one 
story I heard that there's a sea otter mama that where it goes up. Uh, there's a, a ships. There's some boats that are in the Monterey Bay, and they go up to. There's an area where they can launch a, like a little uh, canoe or something, and they go up to this raft, and she puts her baby there while she goes out and hunts because she. It's hard to hunt when you have a baby right there, right? So okay, so here's the next thing we're going to do. This we're going to make our 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 sea star a, a kind of a, an orangey color here, right? And kind of orange. I mean, they can be many colors, but let's make it this color so it stands out a lot, which is you know pretty typical color for around here. Okay, next we're going to get our feet. I'm actually going to start with a dark brown on the feet, and then I'm going to add some highlights in a black, which I always save till last always save the black till last because once you put it down you can't take it away so you want to make sure you lay down your first colors first that you want to use and then add a little bit of black or whatever the darker color will be later okay goody yay hey cute little feet oh you are the cute feet look at that yeah so so they you know Sea, light, uh, sea otters can be kind of fierce. I've, I've heard stories of, from surfers saying that you stay away from them when you're surfing because they'll growl and they'll bark at you and they can be kind of nasty when you, they're, you're in their territory, right? You're in their territory. Now, this is what we're going to do for the kelp. The kelp is actually has sort of a olive green look to it so i'm going to be mixing a few colors and then put the last color on that i'm going to do will be kind of a brownish because it's actually brownish uh tinge i mean it's more brown but we're gonna first put this layer on here right we're mixing our colors right okay and then i'm gonna put very kind of a light brown in here so look when it blends it does have that brownish look it has that brownish look there and they're not going to be exactly the same because the light is different i mean each one is different so here we go that's good yeah 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 okay so we did these parts here we're going to wait for the end before we put in the dark color for the eyes i want us to do the ocean now look at us we're going to do an ocean so what i'd like to do is lay down just a bit of water first just a bit go back in get my nice ocean color and come back in here and do my ocean. Hello, ocean, you are good, or bay. Here we go, bay. Just, just a suggestion of color. I do mix it down with a lot of water. I, I just want a suggestion that this is all the water here, right? There, good, yay. Ah, sea otters, there. There we go. Okay, look at that. Good, and just, just, just a touch. It doesn't have to fill up all the spaces. Definitely doesn't have to fill up all the spaces. Now, I'm making that the horizon line. You can come in later. You can either fill it up or come in later and do a sky. Uh, whatever, you know. I just think that I, I'm just leaving it like that, and I'm putting a slightly darker one in here because water has lights and darks. Yes, it does. Yeah, because so it just gives the feeling light and dark. There we go. Oh my gosh. Now the last thing I want to do is now I'm going to go back in and get some blacks and I'm going to make this, give this a slightly darker look to its feet. Slightly dark. And then I do mix it down with a little bit of water so I don't see the line so much. Slightly darker look with the feet. There we go. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do here is get that black on its face. And um, I want it to be fairly dry brush. I don't want to be putting too much on there. Hello, eye. You are a good eye, too, eyes. And also nose. And you know, I'm just going to leave the rest of that like that. You know, I don't want to add that we already add that with the with the Sharpie. You know, and I I like that. I think that's fine. We did a good job. Here you are. Here's our sea otter holding um, a sea star wrapped up in a blanket of kelp. I mean, that's, that's everything. And it looks very happy, right? Oh, good, good job.